You might already have gotten a little bit jaded with all the true wireless earbuds coming at us consumers over the last few years. It's like there is one new one coming out every other day. Now, there are quite a number of manufacturers who have gotten in touch with me to review their products, but I've had to turn down quite a few of them as they do not represent any sort of incremental value or difference to the current crop of offering of TWS true wireless earbuds out there in the market. But occasionally, I still do get something which piques my interest quite a fair bit. And the Gravastar Cyrus P5 is one of them. Gravastar has been known to produce quite a few portable Bluetooth speakers of very curious looking designs. And I use the word curious here in a positive way. Now they have the Mozart, the Venus and the Mars Pro which have earned the brand some fans around the world. The Mars Pro resembles like the Star Wars Droideka with its three-legged base and it looks interesting enough. Now recently, Gravstar has launched a new true wireless stereo earbuds, the Cyrus P5, that is right here. Now it features 12mm drivers and those will be one of the largest available in the market today in a wireless earpiece. Now the larger the driver, the better the base delivery. Now of course, that's not the only factor that affects sound quality, but at the very least, the lack of size won't be the limiting factor. Now it has Qualcomm APTX HD features Bluetooth 5.2 for multi-point connectivity and has IPX4 water resistance, meaning to say it will withstand sweat and rain. With the built-in battery life in the casing, it supports a total of 40 hours of listening. Eight on a single charge with the earbuds itself without returning to the casing. And when you return to the casing, you'll charge another three times for a full 32 hours of charge for a total of 40 hours. Now in my testing, it took about two full charges and somewhere within the third charge, it started to show red on the LED light indicator on the case, meaning say it has less than 30% battery left. Now the charging of the case takes the form of a USB-C cable at the bottom of the case. Now thankfully, they have chosen a USB-C port. I think any respectable TWS manufacturers today should be using USB-C instead of micro USB, which is on its way out. The standout feature for the Cyrus P5 is actually the interchangeable casing. The Cyrus P5 comes with three interchangeable casing and they have branded it Defense Armor, Defense Crystal and uh, Defense Mecha. Okay, so the names are actually quite self-explanatory and aptly describes the casing. Now let me describe the three included casing. So first up, we have the Defense Crystal and well, Crystal, it quite clearly describes the case, which is the lightest of the lot. It features a gradient blue um, finishing to a transparent finish, and it is made of ABS plastic, which allows you to see the entire Cyrus P5 in the new. Now, the second case, which is the Defense Mecha I have here, it is also made from ABS plastic, but it will be the largest of the three that is included. But this looks to be the most interesting in terms of design because there is actually a transparent tube to the side that changes the look of the casing, changes the lighting effect as well, actually. So if you put it right in and you activate the light, you see, you will see, you'll notice that the light actually changes the shape it actually looks pretty cool. Well, there are only four lighting colors, but the entire strip looks bright and evenly lit throughout. Very cool effect. I actually like the cyan color the most. Let me, yep, you can just click the button at the bottom to change the colors. And yep, this is the cyan color that I like the most. But for this case, the Mecca case, it actually does block out the LED lights that are on the earbuds themselves when you close the flip up top. Now the other two casings do not block the lights and you can actually see the earbuds charging lights through the casing except this one, it doesn't show through. You actually need to flip it up before you can actually see the charging light. And the next and the last case that I actually am going to show you is the one that I like the most. It is more compact, but the build quality of this feels phenomenal. It is made from zinc alloy. Now, of course, there are different grades of alloys out there, but this looks strong and dense and thick. There's actually um, very little flex in this. There are large cutouts to shave off weight, but it still actually makes it the heaviest of the lot. It does look very cool actually. 
Now, the flip top mechanism here is actually quite hard to press down. So you have to learn to press it at the right spot, very closer to the top of the button uh, in order to eject the top smoothly. Now, speaking of which, all the casings here, they are spring-loaded. So when the spring is activated, it actually fills up very, very fast, very, very hard. And the spring is actually heavily loaded. So you do have to be a little bit careful. Otherwise, it might just flip it out of your hands. Now, there is no app that accompanies the Cyrus P5. Everything that you need to control the Cyrus P5 earbuds are on the earbuds itself. So there are touch sensitive uh, areas on the earbud itself that you can press to activate. So on the left and the right, there are specific sets of commands and controls. Uh, the right has another and the left has another. For example, if you want to skip a track forward, you double tap on the right earbud. And if you want to skip backwards, you actually double tap on the left earbud. Now, best to refer to the included instruction manual that comes with the box. Otherwise, you might actually need to recall and remember quite a few of those tabs and combinations and long press and short presses. So there are no EQ settings and Bluetooth pairing simply takes place through your phone system settings under the Bluetooth settings page. These earbuds do not feature active noise cancelling. Now, overall, the sound quality on this is on par with what is expected from a, about a $100 set of earbuds. Now, the earbuds, they do let in some environmental sound. I was initially a little bit disappointed because the bass quality didn't sound very good, but I quickly realized that it is because my ears, they aren't actually sitting the earbuds in very well. Now, I have a sort of like a open ear loops. I don't know what you call this part, the cartilage there. It doesn't fit most earbuds very well. So if you have been using like maybe the original Apple AirPods, the non-pro version, well, these are shaped almost exactly like that. And you should get a good fit with the Cyrus P5 if the original AirPods fits you well. Now I tried to simulate a good fit by pressing in and seating the earbuds properly. And the base came up then nice and thick. So it is clear that the 12mm drivers are actually doing the job very well. Now in terms of spaciousness of the vocals, they do not appear processed. I played a couple of tracks over Apple Music on my iPhone and the voices came through locked in the center. Now I guess I've been a little bit too used to the spatial music processing on the AirPods Pro, but this actually reminds me of some of the original sounds and feels a lot more analog. Now to some of you, this might come across as a uh, mellow because it lacks the processing to lift the treble and it doesn't add any form of airiness to the sounds, which make me turn to audiobooks, right? I tried some of the current audiobooks and the podcasts which I listen to uh, on and off, right? And this actually came across pretty comfortably on the Cyrus P5. Now, the fact is that it doesn't have ANC and that also means that you are able to actually have environmental awareness as you can still hear sounds from the outside world. So it feels like a lot more natural, like you're still listening to music being piped into your ears while engaged with the outside world. Now, I liken this to maybe the transparency mode on the AirPods Pro. Now, sometimes lacking ANC means that you have to pump up the volume quite a lot louder to drown out any environmental sounds and noises. But the P5 is actually suitably loud. Now, I have not actually gone past about two-thirds way through on the volume scale when I pair it with the iPhone 13 Pro and I find the levels to be acceptable. So that's almost all there is to say about this set of true wireless stereo earbuds. What it really lacks in functionalities and features, it makes up for in personality. Now the entire combo set with three casing makes it feel like you're actually getting three different sets of uh, earbuds, right? Which you can change the looks uh, dramatically with each of this. Now if you have a particular look that you like out of the three, you can actually purchase without the other options and they'll be priced quite a lot lower with the crystal set casing at about $49, the white mecha set at about $56 and the armor set at about $63. The full combo set gives you all the three casing and is actually quite good value at $98, below $100. Now they'll be coming out with a few more designs so I'm really looking forward to that. 
Now, nothing out there in the market is without flaw. And the Cyrus P5, it may not have the richest feature set, but it does make up for in terms of design and build quality. It comes with space of personality if you are into personalizing your well, your earbuds. So if you're keen on options such as the much more expensive Apple AirPods Pro costing in excess of $200, you should check out my other video which talks about the one small flaw there. Well, nothing is without flaw. So I'll see you over in that video.